I apologize for the noise. We're under a tempo here. Uh, we just opened up the boat, put in the batteries, get it ready for this season. I'm gonna show you a bit what I did with the console. So if you guys wanna build something like this, it could give you ideas. So I have it with an ignition key. The first one is just accessories. So accessories are on. As we can see here, this is my backlight. And off. Here we have the lights for all the panel, all the console lighting. Everything in the console. So close the lights. This is the front light, which is LED. I don't know if you see it from here, but that's what it is. And this is for my pump. I'll probably hear it running. Which is located right there as you can see i even have um how do you call it a floater so the floater automatically will make it go on and if you want to connect this make sure that even though the accessory is off keys off it should still work because it can rain and you want the water out of your boat Another important thing is all connections you have, like here, there, all over the level of this floor. You don't want to have any short circuits. Water can cause that. So I had showed you already the compartment, the electrical compartment. So this is all my fuse boxes. All my accessories and everything is over here. The fuse for the backup battery that's on the other side. Here we have the gas tank. Fuel sensor. Which goes everything. All the wires come to the front. Over here, sorry. I'm getting you guys dizzy. All over here. These are all the wires that come to the console. These are the two wires that go to the electrical engine in the front. Another important thing, the stern light. Stern light, even though the key is not in, it should be working. So it's on right now. Stern light on. In case you're fishing at night and your boat is closed, that light needs to be on. And also, your fish finder, make sure it doesn't need to have the key plugged in. Everything else could be shut off. Everything on the console. Another thing, your electric engine, also without key. If you have any questions, ask. I'll share whatever I've, did, I've done on this boat. For the speedometer, it's a little hard to have one connected on your boat when you're, you can't connect it to your engine. So what I did is I purchased one that connects to GPS. So here's the speedometer and here's the little guy that connects to the satellite and lets me know at what speed I'm going. So it's, it's a good little solution. Works pretty good. Here we have also USB plugs, if we need, two of them, pretty cool to have. And voltmeter, tells you how much your batteries are at. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have two new projects coming in. One is gonna be to know the temperature of the engine. So we'll install it right here. And another one that's future future, we don't know when, right here, we might build a live well. We'll see how we're gonna get this done. Stay tuned.